Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Excel Club with another Excel video. What we're going to look at today is the use of the switch function. Now I've done a video previously looking at the switch function for DAX and I just realized I'd never done a video looking at the switch function for Excel. The switch function in Excel was introduced in Excel 2016. And if you're one of those that hate nested if statements, the switch function is an awesome function that will allow you to replace the use of nested if statements using the switch function. Now I have an example to show you, but before we get stuck into that example, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you find this video of use, I do hope that you will share it across your social profiles and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So let's hop over now into our Excel model and have a look at the switch function. We're gonna do a basic example and we're gonna do an advanced example and see how you can replace those nasty nested if statements with this simple switch function. We will dive straight into an example, a basic example, so you understand the switch function. And then we're going to do a more complex example by combining the switch function with a VLOOKUP. So let's have a look at our data. We have some colors that represent something. We have some units and we want to put in a discount based on the color. Now you could write an if statement that if the color is red, then you want X discount. If the color is blue, then you want Y discount. If the color is yellow, then you want Z discount. And each time you're saying if there and you're pointing to a particular cell. Now with the switch function, you only point to that cell once and then you choose different answers based on criteria that you give it. Let me show you exactly what we mean. So if we put in a switch, we can get a little bit of text about it and it evaluates an expression against a list of values and it returns the corresponding to the first match value. If there's no match, an optional default value is returned. So let's select them. The first thing it looks for is an expression. Now what this expression is, is what cell are you actually looking at? So we're gonna be looking over here in the colors. Now, if this cell is red, what do we want? If this cell is blue, what do we want? And if this cell is yellow, what do we want? That's the if statement. But in this, we reference the cell, then value one. So if it's a particular value, so what value? Well, in this case, if it's red, what do we want? Well, let's just put in 0 0.05 as a discount. We just take random numbers for this example. Then it's looking for a default value or value two. Well, we have a value two and a value two is blue. And if it's blue, let's say we want 0 0.02. Then again, it's looking for a default or a value three. So let's put in yellow for our value three. And let's put in then our result and our result will say let's 0 0.01. Now this time we have no more colors to pick from, they would be our three traditional nested if statements. And then we'd put in a default value. So let's just put in not found, just for our default value. Now, when we fill our formula down, it will give us our different values. Now it's saying they're not found because if we look up here in our formula, we'll see I put in three L's in yellow. So now if I change that, and I will pull the formula down now that I've changed it, it pulls in the correct value. So that's the basics of a switch function. Now I'm going to delete this. What we're gonna do is look at a more complex example. This time we have units, and we want to look up the units sold and give a discount, but the discount given is based on the actual colors and the quantity. So we can use a VLOOKUP to look up the units and then we can use the switch to pick between the tables. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say VLOOKUP. So our VLOOKUP and we're looking up our units. 
Then it's looking for our table array. Well, this is where switch comes in. So if we put in switch here and it's looking for our expression. So our expression is, well, which cell is, does this all depend on? And it depends on this cell over here. And I'm not going to lock that in because I'm going to fill the formula down. Now it's looking for value one. Well, value one is red and instead of hard coding it, let's select it that's already in a cell and lock it in. So when we fill that formula, it doesn't change. And then the result is going to be our red table. And I'm also going to lock that in. Then our default or our value two, or we're not going to put in a default in this case, we're just putting in our value two. And I'm locking that in to lock in the text. And then for my results, I'm selecting the blue table. I'm going to lock in the blue table as well. And then my default value three is yellow. I'm selecting really the contents of that cell by pressing F4 and locking it in. And then for yellow, I'm going to select the yellow table. And I'm also going to lock that in. Now we have finished our switch function, but we haven't finished our lookup. So if I put in a comma, we'll see our tool index uh, increases and it's looking for our col column index number, which is the second column of this table is our discount. And our range lookup, well, an approximate match is fine because the quantity will vary and you won't always get an actual. So I'll select true for that. And then we can fill this formula down. Now, when we change the value, so let's change this to 200, we can see that it goes and it gets the correct discount for 200. So above 250 will be 4% and below this will be 2%. So we've got 2% because it's 200, which is below 250. So that's how you can combine the switch function with a VLOOKUP function and replace nested, complex nested if statements. It's a more compact function and if you're used to creating nested if statements, these are more efficient in your workbook and also are more compact and smaller. So if you have an awful lot of, of uh, nested if statements, this can greatly reduce the size of your workbook by using these newer functions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye now.